I just made a comment on Discord. <coughs> Somebody asked, I want to have a vanilla plasma. Okay, no problem. Then I make a list. I said, you have a lot of options. So this is your thing, right? You want to have a vanilla arch. Whatever desktop you have, what do you do? Five options, incredible, right? You take your browser. You go to archlinux.org. You install the packages via the download, the ISO from Arch Linux. Option one. Option two. ArcanLinuxD.com. That's the website where we host all the D desktops. All the information about all the desktops that you want to learn is in Arcanlinux D. You want to have the D ISO? Fine, go download it. So the Arcanlinux D ISO is also quite minimal, quite bare, and it's really up to you um, to build everything up. So it requires knowledge, not the first day on Linux, right? Arcanlinux D. Cool. So first tap, second tap, third tap. You can go to arcanlinuxiso.com and use the Carly to build your own ISO. Now we've been all this period, I mean two, three years, we've always been on Plasma all the time, right? We just made the switch, I think a month ago, where we decided, okay, let's take a look because people need to think out of the box. Let's just switch Plasma and use XFCE. So this was the image of XFCE. So with Carly, you can have any desktop. Again, vanilla. Now we made a little tweak because we want to have the nice, a nice impression when we put up. But in the beginning, it was all quite vanilla. This is the vanilla look of XFCE. Just don't install the rising packages. Okay, third option, Carly. Fourth option, it's AA. Arcanlinux. Well, well, in time, in, in seeing in the project in time, the timeline first came ALCI dot online. That's the Arch Linux Calamaris installer. The wiki is great, right? But it's sometimes just too difficult for people. How do I need to install? And it's all in where's the wiki? And then we have the installation guide. This for many people, just a bridge too far. This provides the Calamaris installer, which is graphical, which gives us just five of these screens. And boof, you've got an operating system. And it depends what you choose. You can have anything, cinnamon, mate, and all that again. You get this vanilla look with these nice, beautiful brown icons and nothing has been changed. This is Mate, this is Cinnamon and so on. Choose. So number four, option number five, you want to have something vanilla, right? That's the last project and the last project that came into our mind. So it's all about what ifs is AA and that's working together with Pico and Pico has a script to install anything you like on Arch and any with any complexity as well. PTRFS, I mean, all the drivers. Um, it really is change and run, a script to run, automated, unattended, and 129 seconds later, you've got a Arch Linux and an XFCE, or I've installed it in less than four minute, minutes and then I really installed like Firefox, Inkscape, GIMP, you name it, right? But after four minutes, you certainly have a plasma then or a desktop to your liking. And that's the one, two, three, four, fifth option. So vanilla just means no rising and means there is no sound, there is no Bluetooth, there is no printers. It's entirely up to you to figure that out and to understand how everything works. That's the Arch Wiki for you. Looking for information. Oh my God, how about the drivers? Read. All right, so five ways to do a Arch Linux vanilla installation. Arch Linux ISO, Arch Linux D ISO, 
Carly, build it yourself, ALCI, build it yourself, and here AA, build it yourself. Enjoy. <laughs>